Hello viewers, welcome to Enrich Academy. This video is a detailed explanation on margin shortfall penalty. Now in order to understand this concept, you need to know what a margin is and the meaning of margin shortfall. So let's go ahead and simplify the concepts. Margins play an important role in derivatives, which is futures and options. Now before we understand margin shortfalls, it is essential to know the role of margin trading in derivatives market. Now when you trade in futures in the FNO segments, you get leverage by the brokerages as per their policies. The point to note here is that these derivative positions are quite risky as they are pretty much volatile in nature and a small upfront amount is necessary to trade. Hence, a trader can incur huge losses due to any unfavorable or unexpected movement in price. Now, in order to avoid such losses and to ensure smooth settlements, a certain upfront amount is to be paid to hold the futures position. This upfront amount is known as margin, and any shortage in the upfront amount because of an unexpected or adverse price fluctuation is called margin shortfall. So what is upfront margin or initial margin in FNO segment? As per exchange stipulated norms, upfront margin or initial margin is span margin plus exposure margin, which can be calculated using a margin calculator. Now in order to understand this better, you need to know what is span and what is exposure. So what is span? Span margin is the initial or minimum margin that is mandatory and fixed by the exchanges in FNO segment. Now this margin calculation is done using a software called SPAN, which stands for Standard Portfolio Analysis of Risk. Now the SPAN system uses strike prices, risk-free interest rates, changes in prices of the underlying securities, changes in volatility, and the time value to estimate unexpected moves in the stocks. Now for the exchanges, span margin covers almost the whole risk for the day, reducing the risk caused by margin pressures. Now let's understand exposure margin. Exposure margin is a margin which is over and above span margin, and this is needed to reduce any possible MTM losses. We can also call exposure margin as additional margin, and this margin is collected to safeguard brokers' liability that may occur due to unexpected market movements. So what is MTM? MTM stands for Mark to Market. One of the main features of futures contract is settling the gains and losses on each trading day. And this process is called Mark to Market Settlement. This means that the value of the contract is marked to its current market value. Now remember, span margin is the initial margin that is calculated based on the risk and volatility of the underlying, while exposure margin is calculated on the value of the exposure taken by the trader. Also remember that the span margin for a particular script changes from time to time depending on the volatility of the script, but exposure usually remains the same as it basically works like a safety net or a floater to protect from possible losses. So the point to understand here is that span and exposure margins are specified by the exchange. So when you trade in futures as a client, you must have the initial margin requirement. So initial or total margin is equal to span margin plus exposure margin. Now let's understand margin shortfall and interpret how the penalty works in case of a shortfall. So what does SEBI say about shortfall and margin and the penalties associated with it? In simple terms, when there is no sufficient amount in the client's account, margin shortfall penalty is levied on positions carried overnight. Now, the importance of the role of margin trading in the derivative market cannot be taken for granted. Brokerages offer leverages as per their policies to trade in futures in the FNO segment. For intraday positions, shortfall margin penalty is not levied. However, equity derivatives, currency derivatives, and commodity derivative segments are subject to these penalties. So let me simplify it with the help of an example. Let's say you decide to trade this morning in futures and options and the available balance in your account is 90,000. The required margin to trade here is 85,000. Now imagine by the end of the day, unfortunately you incurred a loss of 15,000. So your MTM is 15,000. Your available margin now 
is 90,000 minus 15,000, which is 75,000. The required margin is 85,000. So what is the margin shortfall here? Required margin minus the available margin, which is 85,000 minus 75,000, your margin shortfall is 10,000 here. So in order to avoid margin shortfalls, a trader must have surplus amount or add funds to maintain the required margin. Now let's look at the calculation of penalty. Now imagine if there is a debit balance per segment per day and the margin amount is less than 1 lakh and also the margin shortfall amount is less than 10%. In this case, 0.5% penalty on shortage amount will be levied. If the shortfall is greater than 1 lakh or more than 10% of the applicable margin, then 1% of shortage amount will be levied as penalty. Now how does this work? 0.5% penalty will be levied the first three days of debit. If the shortfall continues to the fourth day, then a penalty of 5% will be levied for each day from the fourth day onwards. So let's understand this with the help of an illustration. Now let's look at the chart. Bajaj future margin is 85,000. T plus one day, if the margin shortfall is 4,000, which is less than 10% of the applicable margin, then your penalty would be 0.5% which is 0.5% of 4,000 rupees 20. Likewise, on day two, T plus two day, if the margin shortfall is 5,000, again, it is less than 10% of the applicable margin. So the penalty will be 0.5% of 5,000, which is rupees 25. Now on T plus three day, imagine your shortfall is 10,000, which is 10% more than the applicable margin. So the penalty will rise to 1% of shortfall. So 1% of 10,000 will be rupees 100. Now, if the shortfall moves to the fourth and the fifth day, your penalty percentage will increase to 5%, as you can see on the chart. Now there is also an exemption in margin shortfall penalty. If the shortfall is caused due to movement of 3% or more in Nifty on any trading day, then the shortage penalty will be charged only if shortfall continues to T plus 2 days. Now according to SEBI's latest circular on margin shortfall, it is mandatory to collect the MTM losses for T-day positions on T plus 1 day from the clients, failing which the same will be considered as margin shortfall and the penalty is levied as per the percentages said before. So we hope that you now have a fair idea on what is margin shortfall penalty and how it is calculated. If you found this video useful, please do like and share and do subscribe for further updates. Thank you.